Welcome to this video tutorial for Mega App, the Mega Asset Protection Program. In this video, you will learn how to use the Mega App website and the Mega App Security Scanner smartphone application to scan and manage security seals and other assets. Step 1 Adding the Company's Administrator. The client administrator will create, manage, and monitor application users within the company. Firstly, the administrator will receive an email inviting them to log on to the Mega App website. The email contains the administrator's username and password. Step 2 Administrator Login Click on the link received in the email to open the Mega App website dashboard. Review the terms and conditions. Click on the Client Login button to log in. Provide the username and password combination as received in the email. You are now logged into the dashboard as the administrator and have the option to click on the profile icon at the top right corner and change your password. Step 3 Adding a phone user. A user is the person in the field scanning your assets. The administrator can add new users by navigating to the Users menu and clicking on the Add New User menu item. Fill in the fields and hit the Save and Invite button to add the user. The new user then receives an SMS message that contains login instructions and a link to download and install the mobile application. Choose the correct version based on your Android or iPhone iOS operating system. Once the mobile app is downloaded, installed, and login name and password are added, it's ready for use. Step 4. User scans a barcode. Tap on the Scan button to begin scanning a barcode. Once the scan is complete, the user then has the option to add notes such as container number or random information relating to the condition of the scanned asset. Once submitted, a green light indicates that the scan has been saved and successfully forwarded to the administrator network. The submission can be reviewed in the Scan History section of the Mega App website dashboard. The smartphone application not only submits the scanned image, but also supplies information relating to the user, the address the scan took place, including a Google Map, plus the time and date of the scan. Step 5. User scans a barcode in a location without cellular coverage. If you are completing a scan within a no cellular coverage zone, then after submitting the scan, a red light appears, indicating that the scan has been stored on the phone only. The scan will be ready for submission when there is cellular coverage. When back in cellular coverage, the user will press the sync button on the application to submit the scans to the administrator. The red light turns green if the sync is successful. Step 6. Manual Barcode Scanning if there are problems in scanning a barcode or there is simply no barcode to scan, the user will tap on the Trouble Scanning Click Here button to manually photograph the asset and enter the barcode number or job number manually. Once in this mode, take a photograph of the barcode and tap the Save button. The user will manually key in the number and other details. Tap on the Submit button to forward the scan as normal. Step 7. Adding a Lost Seal The Add a Lost Seal button enables the administrator to add a security seal that has been reported missing. Once a lost seal is found, and if scanned, the administrator immediately receives an email notification confirming that the lost item has been found and processed successfully. That brings us to the end of the Mega App demonstration. Mega App is a global tracking application available exclusively to the Mega Fortress group of companies. And Mega App also supports and recommends the Mega Fortress range of products, advice, and the service they supply. Email us at support at megaappglobal.com or your local Mega Fortress office should you have any questions. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.